Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sheena. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And today I'm going to share with you what I picked up in the last two days of thrifting. So um, this is going to be a pretty big haul. So we'll just jump right into it. So this video is not going to be like an hour long. Um, first, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I really appreciate your support and I'm trying to grow my channel. So I really appreciate it. And let's just jump right into it. So the first thing is this men's Gramichi button down shirt. Um, this is a brand I've sold one time before and um, it does have a pretty good sell through rate on eBay. I can't remember exactly what it is, but I did check um, when I was in the thrift store. Size XXL, so that's a good size. This cost four dollars and um, as you know if you've been watching my other videos I've been really picking up a lot of men's clothing I've been learning the brands to pick up and experimenting with that and so far it's doing pretty well this is another men's Nike golf polo um, I do have a couple other Nike golf polos that I have that have just been sitting um, they're more plain so I thought we would try this one out since the print is a lot more fun and this is in a size large. So again, I paid $4 for that. And one more Nike Golf Polo. Again, another fun print. So we went ahead and got that for $4. And then there is this Peter Millar blue polo shirt. Um, this is my first time ever finding Peter Millar, so I will be interested to see how that does. And again, I paid $4 for that. All of the men's short sleeve shirts at my thrift store are $4. And then there is this Travis Matthew black and gray polo. So this has been a new brand that I've just learned of, so I'll be interested to see how that does. Again, $4 is what I paid. Um, this is another new brand that I picked up a couple pieces in. It is called Mizzen and Main. Um, it did have a pretty good sell-through rate, so size extra large, good quality. We'll see how that does. Again, $4 is what I paid. And then this men's green Oakley polo shirt. $4 again is what I paid. Um, first time trying out Oakley and it had a good sell through rate when I checked. So we'll see how that one does. And then I picked up this women's I don't know if you can see that. It is LL Collezione Italia, and this is a women's 50% 50 50 50 cashmere, let's see, 50% cashmere and 50% lamb's wool coat. Um, really good quality. It's a size 10, which is just a little bit too big for me, otherwise I would probably end up keeping that. And what did I pay? I paid $8 for that. And then there is this pair of Madewell wide leg capri pants. These look, yes, these are high waist and they are a size 25. And I paid Six dollars with 20% off so whatever that is so four dollars and eighty cents I paid for those and then I got this pair of red and black striped Nike running shorts women's running shorts um, these are a size extra large super cute I was thinking about keeping them for myself but they might be a little too big these have over a hundred percent sell through rate when I checked and I paid dollars for those no I'm sorry I paid just over three dollars 
$4 with 20% off. So whatever that is. And then there is this pair of Duluth Trading Company. These are women's nylon hiking outdoor pants. And they are in a size, I don't know, 14, 14 by 31 length. Um, these had a good sell through rate when I checked. I paid $4 for those. Um, and then I picked up this brand new with tag sweater. It is by the Quacker Factory. Um, this is probably going to sit for a little bit longer or, or not, I don't know. Maybe if it was before the 4th of July, it would have sold faster. But it is a sweater, and the reason I picked it up is not because it had a good sell-through rate. It actually had, I think, maybe like a 30 or 40% sell-through rate, which is not great. But I picked it up because it is brand new with tags, because it is a size 1X, and because it is the, it's got the stars and the stripes and the page, the flag. So it's patriotic, American, people like that kind of stuff. So because of those three reasons, I ended up picking that up. It may end up sitting for a little bit longer than I would like, but that's okay. I know I'll make my money back on it. Um, then I picked up this Kate Spade satin pajama top. Um, this is probably not the best pickup. I did check the sell through rate. It wasn't great. Um, I think I just kind of got enamored with the brand Kate Spade. Um, pajama sets always sell for more than just the top. So unfortunately there were no bottoms, but I'm probably hoping to get maybe 20 or $25 for this. We will see. I paid just over $3 for this. Then I picked up, and this is the first time I have picked up this brand. This is Desi Gual. Um, and this is a women's full zip hoodie jacket. And it's got this kind of fun, just drawing, scribbling, doodling print on it. And then on the back, it has an embroidered um, Desi Gual. Yes, and I think the sell-through rate was pretty good on this, and that's why I decided to try it out. So we'll see how that does. I paid $4 for this. And then I got this pair of cotton J. Crew pajamas. And this one did come in the full set, so it's got the button-down long sleeve pajama top, and then it has the pajama pants that go with it, so hopefully I'll be able to get maybe like 25 bucks for that. And I paid $4 with 20% off, which a little over three bucks for that. And this is a not sure this might be vintage I can't remember um, Corey B this is a brand I've never heard of um, this is a hundred percent silk it's got shoulder pads and it is a size 16 um, the reason I picked this up again is not because it had a great sell through rate but it was selling the comps were pretty good it was going for like 25 to 35 dollars um, other shirts so I decided to pick it up because the, the sold comps looked good and also because it's 100% silk. So I paid $4 for that. And we'll see how that does. And then I picked up this pair of Volcom men's red swim trunks. Um, this had pretty close to 100% sell through rate. And I paid $4 for these. And then there is this pair of Swiss Tech. This is Swiss Tech men's shorts. And this had over 100% sell-through rate. So these, 
Um, anytime you come across these like Swiss brands, check the sell through rate on those, check the sold comps. Um, I was, I'd never heard of this brand. And when I checked the sell through rate, I was shocked because it was over a hundred percent. So I was like, score, I paid $4. Um, and then there's this pair of Levi Chino shorts and they have this tie dye print. And these also have a 100% sell through rate. I paid $4 for those. This is a little linen romper that I got for myself. Um, this was kind of fun. This is a German brand, Waldschutz, Waldschutz. And this is like one of those dresses that you'd wear, what do you call the beer? I don't know. Anyway, sell through rate, horrible. Sold comps look like dresses like this were going between $40 and $50. So that's why I picked it up because I thought it was really cute and I think it will sell, but I might end up sitting on that for a little while. Um, I paid $4.80 for that dress. And then there is this Torrid tank top. It's got these little heart prints. Um, I like picking up the brand Torrid, but to be honest, some of the blouses kind of sit. So I'm going to start getting more picky about this brand. Dresses are amazing. So if you find Torrid dresses, pick those up. Um, this is a size 5X. Um, I ended up paying a sixty for this. And, oh, here is another mizzen and main. This is just a plain white men's long sleeve button down, collared neck, and um, had a good sell through rate when I checked. So we'll see how that does. I paid $4 for this. And, what is this? Okay, another. Travis Matthew, long sleeve button down men's shirt. Um, I paid $4 for this. Again, a new brand I've just learned about, so we'll see how that does. This is by the brand Hatley, and it's a really cute elephant print tunic top. Um, I'll probably use keywords Indian, um, tunic, ethnic i don't know i'll have to look but um i was actually in the thrift store and some lady came over and was like that's so cute so i did offer that she could have it and she took it and then she came back and gave it back to me because she had a tape measure and said it was too small for her so um this again i picked this up not based on sell through rate but based on the style and there are a lot of other hatley shirts that sell but with the elephant print there was only two or three, so I think this is really unique and cute, and it's got the embroidery here on the shoulder, which I thought was cute, and it's good quality, so I decided to take a chance on that, and I paid $4 for it. And then there is this brand that I've never heard of. It is called Rosso Puro. And as you can see, hopefully, if it's not blurry, it is 100% cashmere. And that is the only reason I picked this up. Um, sell through rate was not amazing, but 100% cashmere items do pretty well. So decided to give that to go and I paid $4 for that. And then I just got a couple hats. Um, this is a North Face. I don't know what you call these hats, but it's a North Face hat. I probably, I don't know, maybe I'll keep that for hiking or something. I don't know. Um, I paid about $3 for that. This probably was not a great buy actually. Ugh, yeah. And then there is this Hurley baseball cap. Um, these were selling between $12 and $15 used. 
So I decided to go ahead and pick that up. It's in really good condition. And I paid uh, $1.60 for that. And then there is this Guy Harvey embroidered fishing print hat. Um, I think it's vintage. I did check comps. These are going between 15 and 20 used and I paid $1.60 for it. So I thought I would give that a try. And then there is this brand new with tags, a brand I've never heard of called Natural Gear. And I guess they make hunting clothes and hunting gear. So this I paid $5 for. Um, sell through rate was decent. I don't think it was quite 100%, but it was probably 70 or 80%, I can't remember. So I just decided to pick that up because it was brand new with tags. So we'll see how that does. And then there is this free people. This is just this Believe it or not, extra small. It looks like a size large though. Um, just this purple button down, flowy blouse kind of tunic top. Um, I don't know what I'll get for that. I need to start, I think, being a little more picky with the free people stuff I pick up, but I thought this was cute. So I don't know, maybe I can get 20 bucks for that. I paid five. And then I picked up this Banana Republic black sweater cardigan. The only reason I picked this up is because it is Italian cashmere. So I paid $5 for that. If that was anything other than Italian cashmere, I probably would not have gotten it. And then, and then I got this Liz Claiborne. This is not a brand that I will normally pick up. The only reason I picked it up is because this is a brand new with tags robe. And I thought it was pretty cute. Checked comps. Not great, but I could probably get 20 to 25 bucks for it. And I paid $4. And then I was excited to find this. Diane von Furstenberg and it's just this cute sleeveless kind of peplum tank top um, size six and this was on the tank top rack so it was only two dollars and then there is this Athleta this blue navy blue and white striped racer back tank top. Um, again, $2. So I went ahead and picked that up. I'll probably be able to get maybe 10 for it. And I might keep it. I don't know. We'll see. And then I got this pair of Ladies Champion. It's got this Champion logo print all over the leg. Um, this is actually, the print is why I picked it up. Um, I know these prints that are all over prints like this tend to do better. If it was just a regular pair of champion leggings, I would not have picked them up. So I paid $5 for those. And then there is this pair of women's size 18 Eddie Bauer nylon hiking outdoor lounge pants. Um, this was not something that would catch my eye in the thrift store normally, but I did check the sell-through rate, and this had an over 100% sell-through rate. So I was like, yes, baby, put it in the cart, and let's go. And I paid $5 for those. And the next thing is this J. Crew pearl snap long sleeve kind of Western style denim top. Um, another item with good sell-through rate. I paid $5 for this. I am being way more picky about J. Crew now. So um, I do know the chambray and those denim shirts like that are popular though. This is an item I am potentially considering keeping for myself. 
I've never heard of this brand. It's called Kerry Trough. It's a brand made in Norway. And this is a goose down puffer jacket, um, size small. And I really like the hem here. It's got a little bit of a high-low hem. Oh, and it's got some, I did not see that. Anyway, I'm gonna try this on and if I like how it fits, I may end up keeping this. If not, you will see it in my store. And I paid $5 for that. And then the next two items are women's bicycle shirts. And the first one is cute. It's kind of like this, um, I don't know what you call that print. It looks like very preppy, I don't remember. But then it's got the cards on bag. So not a great sell-through rate on this. It was This one was about 50% sell-through rate, but I thought because it had the, the cute print and stuff that it would be a good seller. They're selling for between 20 and $25. And I paid $4 for that. And then I picked up this, what is it called? She Beast, another women's bike shirt. And it has the star print. I'll probably use things like American, patriotic is keywords. And this had a, this brand had a good sell through rate. This had close to 100% sell through rate. So again, I paid $4 for that. Um, this is a brand I've never heard of, Lady Hagen. Um, I guess these are women's golf apparel. And this is just a plain women's golf shirt in size extra, extra large. And over 100% sell through rate, but not a great average selling, or uh, yeah, not a great sell price. So I'm hoping I will probably start this out at $15 and if it doesn't sell I will probably lower the price just a little bit and then there is this Zoot sports tank top uh, over a hundred percent sell through rate and I paid two dollars for this and then there is this Brooks long sleeve athletic shirt. I did not check the sell through rate on this, but I know the Brooks shoes go for really good money. So I just kind of made an assumption that this was gonna go for good money. Um, hopefully I'm right, because I paid $5 for that. And then there is this pair of Roots Canada. Let's see, where are you, Mr. Tag? There we go. These Roots men's gray sweatpants, lounge pants, comfort, casual, those will probably all be keywords that I use. And they've got the cinched hem at the bottom. Um, I just recently sold a Roots sweatshirt for I think $30 or $35, I can't remember. So yes, I was excited to find those. I paid $5 for them. And then there is this pair of Grumichi. Grumichi nylon pants. Um, I think these might be vintage and I did check comps and they're going for like between 40 and 50 bucks. I was surprised. So excited to find those. I paid $5. And then there is good old Carhartt. This is a men's plaid long sleeve button down flannel shirt. And I paid $5 for that. All right, one more bag of clothes and then I have some shoes. This is a Carl Lagerfeld black and red skirt and it's got the the tulle underneath. I don't know how you put tulle, T-U-L-L-E. So it makes the skirt kind of puff out. 
This is like a just below the knee length skirt. Um, and I did not check comps or sell through rate. I just picked this up. That might be a mistake, I don't know. I paid $5 for it. And then this is a Revolve brand, Privacy Please. And just this striped skirt. Again, I paid $5 for it. It looks like, so it's got this slit and it looks like somebody maybe thought the slit went up too high so they just threaded it closed. They just hand sewed it closed. So yeah, we'll see. I That's another thing I didn't check comps or anything on. This is a goose down puffer vest and this is by Awareness by Kenneth Cole and it is got the Sundance Film Festival of 2014 embroidered right here and I did check comps sell through rate was horrible on this but there was one sold for 30 bucks or something like that so I just thought because it's unique and it has this Sundance Film Festival thing that it would probably sell for I'm hoping at 20 to 25 dollars and then there is this. This is something I bought for me. It's just another puffer vest, but it's a 70s style. Super cute. Okay, and now shoes, except I'm missing one of my bags. So let me go grab that. Okay, I am back with the shoes, pardon. First thing is this pair of Aldo I don't know what you call these boots, but I thought they were cute and they're in really good condition. I paid $8 for them. Um, not, not, I couldn't really find, because I don't know what this style is, it has a little mark there. Anyway, um, couldn't really find sell through rate or anything, so this is kind of just, we'll see how that does. That might be a mistake, but we'll see with the colder weather coming up in a couple months. Um, this pair of, Heeled Dansko clogs, mules. I paid $4 for these. And this is actually the first time I've seen this brand with these heels like that. And then this pair of Linea pa Paolo, Paolo <laughs> leather, these kind of wedge sneaker type things. Um, I paid, what did I pay? I paid $6 for these. Excellent condition. And then this is a new brand that I found two of and comps looked pretty good. Sell through, sell through rate looked pretty good. I paid $8 for these. These are men's golf shoes by the brand Foot Joy. So I will be curious and interested to see how those do. And then I got this pair of Reebok classic white sneakers, women's size nine. I paid $4.80 for those. They're in excellent condition. And another pair of men's black golf shoes by the brand Foot Joy. And I paid $6 with 20% or so, $4.80 for these. Um, these are in really good condition. Really good sell through rate, really good sold comps. And then there is this pair of A6 women's sneakers in size seven. These are in decent condition. I'm gonna to have to clean them up just a little bit. Um, I did just sell another pair of Asics, a different style though, for $35. So I'm hoping I can get about 25 to 30 for these. And I was excited to find these leather studded Ariat boots. Um, I paid, what did I pay? $8 with 20% off. So you do the math. That's what I paid for these. Really cute. 
pretty good condition. They do have a little bit of scuffing on the toes there, but other than that, they look pretty good. So I will have to check comps and see what I'll list those at. And then another pair of just plain black Dansko Mules clogs. Um, comfort, casual, those are all keywords I'll use. And I did pay $4.80 for these. I do pretty well with Danskos. I sell a lot of them and I find a lot of them at the thrift store. So, and then they usually sell between $25 and $35. Again, another pair of Dansko. These ones are in pretty, yeah, actually pretty good condition. Just a teeny bit of scuffing here at the toe. And I paid $8 with 20% off of that. And then the last two shoes are both Converse. And one is just a pair of high top plain black sneakers, women's size eight and a half. And maybe I'll try these on, I don't know. I like dancing in Converse, they're really comfortable. So what did I pay for these? I paid $4.80 for these and they're in very good condition. And then the last pair of Converse are these cute black and white checkered ones, low tops. These are a bigger size. What size are they? They're a size men's eight or women's 10. Um, they need to be cleaned up just a little bit and I paid just over $3 for them. So that is everything that I picked up in two days of thrifting and yeah, so I need to start photographing and measuring and cleaning all of these items to get them up and listed. So if you're interested in anything you've seen in today's haul, you can check out my eBay and Poshmark stores. They will be listed in the next few days. And yeah, that's everything for this video. So thank you guys for joining me and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.